All right, Picard, episode two called Maps and Legends. I don't think there were any maps in this episode or legends except Picard. He's a legend. Uh, so I don't know about that title. Um, I still like the show. My dear friend Kevin Apple, he does not like the show. And all my favorite YouTubers, they don't like the show either. But I'm still in. I'm still keeping my CBS All Access. Let's talk about it. All right, episode two, Maps and Legends. No Maps and Legends in this episode. No action in this episode. It's all drama. The plot is thickening. The plot's against the Federation. The plot's against Picard. Plot's against the universe. Uh, it looks good. I like the acting. I like the dialogue a lot. I think it worked for me. There were good scenes. Nice tension. Uh, some, uh, some things revealed. And uh, yeah, the intro still sucks. The music still sucks. But yeah, I liked it. I liked it a lot. All right, let's talk about the story. So you can leave now if you don't want to know what happens. Um, yeah, after that sucky intro, we have uh, some backstory on the Jat Vash, we learn. I never heard of the Jat Vash, but apparently it's the Romulan like uh, special ops or secret police. They're super uber secret. And uh, Picard's uh, Romulan uh, caretakers, they sort of talk to him about that and tell him all about that. And then uh, I liked the female Romulan that lives with Jean-Luc. Uh, and they go together to Dodge. Dodge, we learned that synthetic in the last episode. They go to her apartment and they do like a little CSI crime scene investigation. And, and I'm okay with the tech. The tech is a little hard to believe how they can kind of like, it's something like a Batman would have in a video game, I think in the Arkham games. He sort of scans the environment and somehow he can see the past. You know, they try to, they, they try to touch on a little bit. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. Um, and then I guess, uh, the Romulan friend of Jean-Luc says, oh, you know, the scene has been scrubbed. That's, that takes some pretty high tech stuff. Um, and then we learn Romulans hate synthetics. So, okay. Some, some good backstory there. Some interesting scenes. I liked it. And then we go to the Borg cube. And that was the thing I went, Ooh, at the end of the last episode, some people are saying, it's not a baby Yoda moment. I misspoke it. Nothing is baby Yoda. But I thought it was cool. I, I, I missed it in the intro. You're right. There's a Borg cube in the intro. I completely missed it. Must be taking a bite out of my hoagie or something. And then, so when I saw the Borg cube, I was like, oh, that's cool. And uh, what's her name? Soji is Dodge's uh, sister or twin. I guess it's, I think it's Soji. I'm missing some of the names, so bear with me. And then we got the bad Romulan guy named Narek. So, okay, and then, you know, in the episode, they get it on a little bit. They get they have a thing, but we know Narek is bad, and we're going to really find that out uh, later on. Uh, and then uh, we learn Picard has some medical issue uh, in the old uh, cabeza, and uh, it might be a problem because he wants to go into space, get a ship going to space, and try to track down Bruce Maddox. Uh, that's, that's what he wants to do and try to find, cause he believes there might be a part of data left out there somewhere that he can maybe bring data back. Right. Is that, is that the thing going on? All right. So he goes to Starfleet. I like the music. We have some good Starfleet music and I like those little teleporters, transporters. They look like things you go through. I was going to say you go through in the airport nowadays, but now you go through like a big mega thing in the airport, old school metal detector, but they're actually like transporters. I, I, I thought that was really cool. Um, and, uh, yeah, so he thinks some part of data might exist. And then he goes to some admiral who's like a big, uh, a big super bitch. And so you have the scene where it's at her against Picard and Picard is uh, asking for a ship and some help. And he's trying to explain that there are these Romulans and, uh, and she's just pissed. She's pissed that he did that interview and, um, trashed Starfleet um, on the on the news for the whole universe to uh, hear. So she says, "Do what you uh, do, what you're good at, and go home, Jean Luc." So uh, yeah, that's not good. Then we go back to the Borg cube, and I liked how we saw uh, it was a Dodge, and uh, it's called the Borg Reclamation Project. And they go to work and they like take Borg parts out of people, and I, I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, and then there's a scene where Jean-Luc, now I missed who he's like trying to contact, but he puts on his little, now what do we call this thing? It's a, it's a pin, uh, it's a lapel, but it's also a communicator, you know, and it makes that sound. 
Is it called a communicator in the next generation? I'm having a moment. I don't remember. Again, I've seen every episode, but I'm not the Star Trek guy that can tell you in season two, episode 12, you know, when Spock did the mind meld with McCoy. I'm not that guy. Okay. I've seen them all multiple times, but I don't remember those details. So I don't know what that's called. Communicator. And he called somebody. I don't know who he called. So if you can help me out uh, in the comments, who did he call? Um, and then we know the, um, <clears throat> this, uh, Admiral who we didn't like, who was bitchy contacts a Commodore who appears to be a Vulcan. And then she, uh, is apparently bad because she contacts a female Lieutenant. Um, no, wait, the Commodore is Lieutenant Rizzo. She's bad. So the Admiral reaches out to this Lieutenant Rizzo was her name and she's bad and shady. Uh, and then she, and then to take care of this situation, this Picard situation, and she says, "I got a guy." And then she's referring to to Narek back on the Borg cube. And then we have Rizzo, like doing a little like a hologram to Narek. And then you know all the dots are connected. Like we have a bad Admiral, I think, who has a bad Commodore, who's connected to uh, Narek on the Borg cube. So one big conspiracy. And then Jean Luc approaches. Uh, this female person at the end who I don't know who that is. And he ha and she's like, go away. And then he has like a bottle of wine and she goes, okay, well, come on in. And so I guess he's going to start to assemble his crew, uh, his unofficial crew to go back into space on the hunt for Maddox. So I'm, I'm in. I like this. I like this a lot. Tell me, what, what, I, most of you don't like this show. Um let me know what you think. Let's talk about it. Do you like it? Don't you like it? Was there some big breach of Star Trek lore in this episode that I missed? Because I didn't see any. Um, I'm, I like it. I like it. So next Thursday, we'll watch episode three and we can talk about it. All right. Everybody have a great fr It's Friday. All right. Have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. And as always, I will see you on the new.